Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. In the studio, we've got some very unique pickups. And that's putting it mildly. These are very unusual, very out of the box pickups with some very unique features. Let's check them out. So these are the bipolar pickups from SNS Winding. Now, when you take a close look at it, it just looks like pretty much any other T-style pickup with the exception of maybe there's a few extra wires coming out of it. And we'll talk about why that is in a second. And when you look at the neck pickup, it kind of reveals a little bit more. We'll see if we can uh, take, a, take a shot at there. Do you guys notice anything different under the cover? I'll take a few close up shots for you guys. But as you can see, instead of one continuous wind around the pickup, there's two miniature coils inside. So what exactly is the advantage of being able to turn on or off half of your guitar pickup? Well, I'll throw a graphic up right here. And as you can see, the bipolar pickups give you five different Telecaster tones. Now, the first thing to note is your classic Tele positions are all kept. So position one is just the bridge. You got to have that if you're going to play Telecaster. Position two is both pickups fully on and position five is just the neck. So of course we keep those Telecaster positions, but it's the inside positions that are pretty interesting. So as you can see, you can turn on half your bridge with the other half of your neck, or you can swap them and you know turn on the other half of your bridge and the other half of your neck for two different combinations across the guitar, which should be pretty interesting. Now, the other half of the equation is the control kit that comes along with the pickups, and it has your five-way switch with some numbered wiring, so it should help us install it onto our telly. All right, you guys, let's start the installation. So I'm armed with two things. Number one, the wiring diagram that comes with the kit, and number two, my road-worn telly. So I'm gonna pull the strings off, pull the pick guard off, pull the control cavity up, pull the bridge up, and basically prep this baby for some brand new pickups. All right, you guys, I'm back. I've got the five-way switch, everything wired up. Let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. All right, you guys, now for the moment of truth, let's test out these brand new pickups. So we're gonna start in position one, which is just the bridge pickup by itself. Let's see how much like a traditional Telecaster uh, this thing sounds like. Here we go. <laughs> So I would say pretty much epic levels of twang. <laughs> it's super bright, super attacky, uh, everything you'd want out of, you know, a great bridge pickup. So that bodes well. Now let's go to position two. Now here's where things get interesting. In position two, you've got the neck base portion, so six, five, and four, and then you've got the treble on your, your bridge pickup. So you've got one, two, and three. So it kind of puts these two sections of pickups together to make a brand new tone. So let's see what that sounds like here. Really, really quacky. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, just a really unique tone that you wouldn't really expect uh, to come out of a Telecaster. Now, position three here is everything together. So again, this is another classic. You know, that in-between Telecaster tone that we all know and love. Now, when we go back to position two, yeah, much more of that uh, out of phasey, really quacky tone. And then back to position three. Yeah, shimmer and chime and a little uh, quack in position three. That sounds great. Now, position four here, we've got the bridge pickup bass section and the neck treble. So you, if you remember position two, it was kind of reversed. Now we're taking that and we're, yeah, flipping it again. So let's see what that sounds like. Again, really kind of uh, out of phasey. So let's go back to position two. 
So quite a bit brighter, of course, when you flip them and then when you go back to position four. Yeah, very, very cool. And then of course you've got your neck pickup. Well, after listening back to those tones, here are my initial thoughts on the bipolar pickups. Now, disregarding position two and position four for a second, let's just focus on the traditional tele-tones. So in other words, the bridge pickup, both together, and the neck pickup. Now, these are really great sounding pickups, especially if you like vintage T-style tones, like I do. So if you want lots of sparkle, lots of spank, lots of attack, tons of brightness. Uh, these pickups just by themselves sound really, really great. Now, when we talk about position two and position four, uh, it doesn't quite quack like a Strat. It's got kind of its own thing going on, and I think that is definitely because it does, you know, split different portions of the pickups and mix them together. So I guess it shouldn't sound like, you know, position two and position four of a Strat. But yes, position two, very, very bright, super quacky, almost out of phase sounding. Um, position four had a little bit more body to it, but the same kind of uh, tonal quality, I guess. So uh, position two and position four don't sound totally dissimilar to me. They sound uh, you know, very similar in some ways, but position two definitely has a little bit more brightness and four, a little bit more body. Now really, my only gripe with this whole setup is with the control panel here. The volume pot and the tone pot are both small dime sized pots. And you know, when I was doing the install and I pulled you know these babies out, uh, it really did feel like a downgrade going from full sized pots to dime sized pots, especially when you're talking about boutique pickups and you know, fairly expensive setup, you know, if you're gonna upgrade your guitar. Um, so I hope the guys from SNS uh, hear this and start adding full size pots. So you don't kind of feel like you're downgrading this portion of your guitar. You wanna feel like you're upgrading every portion. And of course, I would like a traditional tele tip on here. I can do that myself, but you know, for a kit that is a Telecaster, it'd be nice to have like a T-style knob right there and of course, full-size pots. So those are my initial thoughts on the SNS Bipolar pickups. I really do love sharing interesting, unique, outside of the box kind of things with you guys. And these Bipolar pickups certainly fit the bill. So they're really cool. I will link to them in the video description below. You guys can check them out there. Other than that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to do so. You can click my face right here. Uh, other than that, hope you guys have a great day. Take care.